Well, we got something different out here. It looks like a very old homemade some kind of tower. Uh, possibly maybe a hunting blind or something. I'm not real sure. Uh, whatever, it's just a few feet off the trail. Whoa! Yeah, sorry about that. I stepped down on a hole. And anyway, yeah, I'm up on a ridge. You can't see much out there though. It's uh, pretty overgrown. Turned out to be hotter than expected today. I heard there was supposed to be clouding up for a storm. Maybe that's coming in later tonight. Could be anyway. I'm about three miles, maybe a little under from where I'm headed tonight. And it'll be the first night in three nights that I won't have a place to rinse off and clean up. They don't advertise any kind of a solar shower and I'm not going to be camping next to a river. Ugh. Gotta watch where I'm going. So, really, uh, this is what a lot of the trail's been like today. Just patches of rock here and there until I get into the real heavy stuff and then that's higher up usually. Right now, even though I'm on the ridge, it's got a lot of grass and not so many rocks. I think uh, I've hit more rocks today than I have any other day. Of course, that includes all the boulders up on the ridge runs. I think uh, Pennsylvania decided that uh, they would hold all their rocks back until the last couple days you're in the state. And then you get nailed with all of them. And of course this makes up for all the uh, fairly flat lands that you hike. Pennsylvania has had just tons of flat miles. It's not to say they don't have their share of going up and down, but and uh, when they do do it, they toss it in steep just like so many others do. But it seems like in Pennsylvania, once you get up a little bit, then uh, you level out, which makes it a lot nicer. But today, with the leveling, comes with the rocks so we're gonna make up for it all I still wouldn't say that it's any rockier though than any other state that I've been in so far they just like I say they held most of them back to the last bit so with that we're gonna start back into the trees again at least for a few minutes, who knows how long. Should be starting to head down here soon. There you go, now we get a little better view. The valley below. Looks like we got a town below us. We always have town below us, but I don't know what towns they are. Doesn't look like anything real big. But definitely, you know, small town. Whoops, now they're hidden behind the trees completely. Oh, there's another one further out there. Maybe just a housing community. I gotta watch this trail. I'm in snake country right now. And uh, it was this kind of stuff I was hiking through the other day when I came across the rattlesnake laying in the trail. Beside the trail. Gotta watch them little buggers. Anyway. 
This is a quick view. So here's a video of the shelter that I'm staying at. I'm actually camping further up. Uh, I set my hammock up. You can see it there. And uh, it's going to start raining soon, but uh, I'm be impressed that this is one of the oldest uh, shelters they got. It's got a updated roof on it. It's a metal roof now, but uh, if you look at it, this thing was put together like the old conventional log cabins where everything is notched and laid in place and then chinked. Good walks to all of you. Yeah, thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. That's the face of it that's under the overhang. Got some serious gaps. Winds are definitely coming through. And of course, then we got the all the uh, fencing down below to keep the mice inside. Don't know what the year of this is. Uh, nobody seems to know and talk to one of the older people around, local people, and they don't know. Uh, so it's really hard to say. But anyhow, this one doesn't even have a name on it. Remember the name of this shelter? Uh, yeah, it's called um, w, George W. Yeah, George something or another. Anyway, close enough. It, uh, it's 24 miles from uh, the Eck, what is that Eckville? Shelter, so George W. Out of Bridge. Yeah, George W. Out of Out of Bridge. Out of Bridge. 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 So anyway. 1965. This is it. Oh, that can't be right. 1965. I would say that's more like uh, when it was remodeled because we got a date down here. I guess that says 94 or 44. Can't tell. I don't know. The guidebook's saying 65, but this definitely looks way older than that. Maybe that's when they put the roof on it. Anyway, don't know, but it's interesting. Well, here we are once again, sitting in the dark, doing my wrap-up for the 3rd of July, day 86. It was a uh, extremely tough day today, really. A uh, lot of rocks, a lot, a lot of rocks, and some bouldering, some scrambling. Went across the knife edge today, and uh, it wasn't bad. It was actually fairly interesting. Nothing difficult, a uh, little bit of exposure, but nothing extreme. It was kind of nice to see how my bouldering goes again after being so many years since I've done it. Um, did 24 miles today, just a smidgen over to get to my shelter, the George something or another Burr Bridge again, I can't remember it. I'm just a couple of miles out of a couple of small towns in the morning and uh, I'm thinking I might go into one of them and see if I can't kill off a day and and uh, spend the night since uh, there goes that yawning again now that I'm videoing um, supposed to start raining about 530 in the morning there's the latest reports thunderstorms and they're going to be going all day long and since I have to do some vertical climbing tomorrow um, along the trail it's only a short like 15 feet or so but it could be some extreme stuff, um, especially with it all wet uh, because of the storms. Uh, the rocks will be slick. So I'm going to take it easy on that. Um, let's see what took place exciting today. Uh, saw another black snake. 
Um, other than the knife ridge, there wasn't a whole lot. I was going to stop at a restaurant called the Summit uh, Restaurant, but they were closed. I was had hoped I got there like around 11 or something like that, and I had hoped that uh, I'd get uh, some food, real food again, and that, but uh, something cold to drink because it was extremely hot again today. It was in the mid-90s, and uh, humidity was very high. But anyway, they were closed up and no longer in business, apparently. But uh, the guidebooks all say they are, so you know how that goes. Anyway, uh, yeah, and with that, let's see. I got to the shelter at uh, about a little before 5. The water is uh, not a good source, like it says. Uh, water in Pennsylvania, uh, at least the northern half, seems to be extremely difficult to get decent water. Um, and of course, their shelters are, seems like they kind of run downhill as they go further north. So maybe Pennsylvania should take some of that southern money they're spending on their fancy shelters down there and, and put it up here because the one here is really in bad shape. So with that, Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow I will be heading out and uh, going to one town or another. I'm not sure. There's like three of them just within a couple miles of me. And then another one that's a few miles past that. And we'll see how things go. All right. And with that.